everybody. Good Monday. Um, working on my car a little bit right now, and then I want to go check out some Walgreens and see if they have any of that new Human Torch. Um, came out last week, but didn't have any extra money, so we'll go ahead and look. All right, it's Friday now, and I got some extra money, so I'm here at Walgreens, and let's go see if they have anything. All right, so I got one of my friends over here. Pull this back. Pull it for me. Alright, so I ended up paying four bucks for this, so hell yeah. Um, I had an $11.58 on a gift card, and since it was on sale right now for $16.99, and then I used $2 of my reward points, so I got it for five bucks. Sweet. Right, I'm gonna go get some breakfast, and then we'll go home. So here's this breakfast joint. Uh, it's a small little diner in the corner of North Park. Uh, it's real old school. Uh, Feels like it's the 1970s, 1960s in here. A really cool spot. Here in San Diego, North Park. Come try it. It's a good breakfast. <clears throat> so I'm starting work in about a week. Uh, I got a job as a wine cook at the Salt and Whiskey Grand Horton Hotel. Uh, I just got the call back yesterday that they want to hire me. Uh, I just got to go fill out the W-2 today. And I'll probably start working either next week or I got a week until I start working. So what I'm trying to do right now is do as much ACBA as I can before I start working. Because who knows what it's going to be like. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back home now. Uh, thought I'd do a quick review. Blah. Thought I'd do a quick review of the figure and show the behind the scenes shot of the shot I'm gonna do. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I'm gonna try and do something. So, you're gonna be here with me. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. It has the Fantastic Four symbol on the top. It says Fantastic Four on the bottom. The Human Torch has a Walgreens exclusive sticker, which is the first time I'm seeing that now. And the figure actually looks pretty bad in the packaging. Um, with the light, like I don't know why the camera's picking up this red as orange because in person he's more red so yeah so that's how he looks in the window he's got his two fireballs two fists one fist and an open hand there's the side of the box which is pretty cool and there's the back of the box but here's a look at the back of the box it looks pretty good it says the human torch here bio here and a bunch of nothing on the bottom so let's go ahead and crack this guy open, take a look on. All right, so here's Johnny Storm, the Human Torch out of the packaging. And my first guess is he's decent. Uh, as far as like a looks rating, I'd give him a six out of 10. Um, but let's go ahead and just dive into a review. I don't want to go over his looks too much right now. Um, but he came with two accessories. He came with two of these fireballs. Uh, so I guess they could go into each fist right there. So he also came with extra fists, which I'm really thankful we did. We got accessories at all. I'm really thankful we didn't just get two close fists. Um, so now going into the figure, because there's not that many accessories. Um, this fist has like a flame effect on it, which is kind of cool, but I kind of don't like it. It's kind of too bulky or something like, I don't know. It's too bulky. But I do like it. I don't like it, and I do like it. It's kind of frustrating. Uh, then again, he has the flames on his forearms, which are pretty cool. Uh, this is on a Bucky Cat mold, and I'm really freaking happy it's not gummy. Like uh, like the Iceman figure. I'm so happy he didn't come out gummy. As soon as I pulled him out and felt his arms and his legs move, I was very happy about that. Uh, the Iceman figure, I'm very frustrated with. Mine, I've had three. And all of them were very gummy and just loose plastic. So I'm really happy with this plastic that they uh, that they used on him since he's transparent. So again, he has the flame effect on his forearm and his hand right there. And these should be pretty easy to pop out. Yeah, came out easily, easily enough. And they pop on really good. These ones look a lot more translucent than his arms. So that's kind of whack. But I guess if you're gonna use the fists, you're gonna be using these. The Iron Fist effect. I was trying to be smart, but I wasn't. <laughs> um, so, 
it's weird the camera's picking it up a little better now but it's weird how the orange on his head is di or the yellow on his head is different from the orange on his body i personally wish it was the same um it just looks kind of funny to me the head being completely different but i guess you know you hold up a lighter and that would be the hottest point so i guess it makes sense but i'm just looks wise i'm not satisfied with that but uh it does look pretty good let me get a closer shot the head looks all right i like how it's translucent you can see everything i'm not the biggest fan of the back flame because of the way it's designed it's more to the right than it is the left it's like uneven i don't know and then it pops off easily enough but i do not like the way he looks without it I don't know. I don't like that look. It just it doesn't look right to me. He's too bald up top. Like, I don't know. Did Johnny Storm lose his hair or something? <laughs> but yeah. So that's the looks of him. Um, as far as articulation goes, it's great. He's Bucky Cap. Um, double jointed knees. Wrist hand or ankle pivot, hinge, everything like that. It's a cool figure. I do have Sue Storm, but I don't want to bust her out and take a picture of the two of them because a lot of people have already. Um, so let's figure out a cool, unique thing to do. Man, so how funny that I got this figure today and it's hot as hell. Not hot as hell, but it's a pretty hot day today. So I've been thinking about uh, if I should use a diorama, if I should use a background, and then I'm thinking what color background because he's such an odd color. So I turn to the color wheel. He's about these colors, so we're gonna go with blue-green to complement those colors. And perfect, I have this backdrop. I uh, flipped it around so he's gonna be more in the green than the blue, but I'll probably have him in between. And I'm thinking maybe I'll just have him in a flight pose with a cutout, make it real simple. You know, just have him flying. Yeah, so anyways, this is what I'm coming up with. Um, I busted out my blue diorama, the rooftop one. And I'm going to have the focus be on Johnny Storm, of course. But the blue and the green give him nice tones. Nice tones, and I'll mess around with the lights. Um, I'll give you guys an overview of the way the lights look. Um, let me just go ahead and jump into this and see where I get... All right, so here was a small angle uh, I was able to find. Uh, it's kind of hard because I gotta go low with the pose and then I have a uh, toothpick skewer into the diorama and his back right there. Um, so I'm hiding that. Um, it's hard because I'm at a lower angle and it's hard to not get the wall in it. And I want him to be in good scale so, so you can see the wall in the corner so that's pretty good right there and then again I'm adding the blue finger light to just kind of add a purple tone to him um, I kind of like it from below it gives him that underneath and then from behind it's pretty cool um, gotta hold it above and then you know and I, sh I shoot my shots with this, um, so I don't have to shake the camera or anything. I could just snap it. Um, and it makes my pictures come out a lot clearer. And I'm able to hold the finger light in my hand. So this helps out a lot. And I was able to buy this at um, Fry's for 20 bucks. All right, so I was talking to my buddy Dane, and he came up with a really good point. Um, I was using yellow as the background, and it was too in contrast with the... <clears throat> I was using green in the background, and it was too contrast with the yellow, and my paper just fell down right now. I gotta fix that. But the blue makes it look a lot better, and I do agree with him. And I'm holding the light down here to shine up on that cutout, which I thought looked really good. And we'll see what you guys think.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that picture. I was going to try this one, but it got a little too late, and I just want to get this loaded up already. Um, I want to give a huge shout-out to all my buddies who helped me out with this. Um, Dane, Ave, Avenger Vasily, and Posable Productions, Brandon. Uh, I hit a few of them up for a little advice on the cutouts and the lighting, and they, I believe they helped me out a lot. So, shout out to you guys. If you want to check out some of their work, I'll have um, I'll have their Instagrams attached to this file. So check out the uh, description. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.